Chimera. What is it? Chimera is an organism that contains more than one genetic identity. This usually occurs in the very early stages of embryonic development. First, two ovum are fertilized by two different sperm, creating two zygotes. Usually, when this happens, two fraternal twins are born. However, in this case, the zygotes fuse together, forming a chimera. How does it happen? The chance of a baby being born a chimera increases when it is created via in vitro. In vitro fertilization is when an ovum or egg is removed from the female's ovaries and is fertilized by a sperm in a laboratory setting. The zygote that is created is cultured outside of the body and then is transferred into the uterus. Transplants can also create a chimera since they introduce foreign DNA into the body. What could happen? One form of chimerism is tetragrammatic chimerism. This results in an organism with intermingled cell lines. For example, the liver cells of an organism will be composed of one set of chromosomes, while the kidney cells are made up of a second set of chromosomes. Most chimeras will go through life not realizing that they are a chimera. In one case, Lydia Fairchild was 26 years old when she discovered that she was a chimera. Fairchild was applying for public assistance and needed to take a, a blood test to prove that she was related to her children. When the results came back, it showed that she was not the mother of her children and could possibly have them taken away. The court was so suspicious of Fairchild that when she gave birth to her youngest son, a court officer stood in the delivery room to be a witness of an immediate DNA test. Once again, the results were negative. However, Fairchild's attorney was determined to solve the mystery and more tests were done to prove that she was her own twin. And her kids were hers. Sometimes being a chimera could be obvious. For instance, a person could have two different eye colors. Also, people can have mosaic skin conditions. During pregnancy, if the two fraternal zygotes that fuse together were of two different sexes, then the resulting chimera is a hermaphrodite. A hermaphrodite is when an individual has the reproductive organs of both sexes. Nonetheless, if a person is a hermaphrodite, has two eye colors, or mosaic skin, does not always mean that they are a chimera. Another form of chimerism is microchimerism. This is when cells from one individual integrate into the tissues of another. Microchimerism most commonly occurs during pregnancy when cells from the fetus go through the placenta into the mother's body. This results in males having a high level of female hormones in their brain and females having a high level of male hormones in their brain. In a study in Seattle, male DNA was found in the brains of women. After performing an autopsy on 59 women, two-thirds of them contained male DNA. This could change the thinking of how widespread chimerism is in women and what associations it could have in the study of brain disorders such as Alzheimer's disease.